Hello everyone, welcome back to Sparm Brawl. Hope you're having a decent day. So there have been two or three incidents in Iran and Sam is going to tell us a little bit um, what's happened and what's going on. Yeah, uh, it's been a quite a tragic week in Iran. There was a number of incidents, uh, three to be exact. Uh, last week we had an incident with the uh, military airplanes, the Iranian army, which is a separate branch than SEPA, the official Iranian military announced that there was a problem with the ejection uh, with the ejection mechanism of a F5 airplane it's it was a specific type of F5 airplane that was uh, for instructor and the trainee type thing uh, for uh, i guess educational purposes <clears throat> and the ejection mechanism apparently uh, i think it uh, from what i understand it worked uh, when it shouldn't have and uh, both uh, uh, both uh, pilots are basically dead now. So uh, th there was a military incident uh, that happened, and uh, according to all the reports, it was due to technical issues. Uh, according to some reports, it was due, these technical issues were due to uh, you know using old equipment and just the plane being very old and. Uh, using, you know, a lot of replacement parts and all that. So basically so, the trainee and the instructor got ejected out of the plane when they didn't want to get ejected. Uh, yes, exactly. The plane was on the uh, uh, on the ground. Oh. It uh, was on the ground. And, really? Yeah, wow. And uh, so these, they both passed away? I mean, the incident yeah, was... Yeah, the, the incident was fatal. Was fatal. Both, oh. uh, yeah. So, but it was very... <clears throat> yeah, it was... The thing was, then you had right after that incident, you had another incident in which an Iranian military uh, ship, uh, which was actually, it was ordered during the time of Shah, uh, ordered to be built, uh, like it was ordered to be built by Britain. Then, I, then there was the revolution, and then there was all these negotiations, and then finally Iran got it, I think, middle of the Iran-Iraq war, Iran managed to get it. And it was used to be one of the. It was used to be the biggest military ship of Iran, and it was repurposed to be able to carry. Uh, I, I think uh, to be able to land and <clears throat> basically have a helipad that allows for helicopters to go up and down. I mean, it was one of the more sophisticated military uh, navy equipments Iran had, and that one. Uh, was uh, inflamed as well near the Josk port <clears throat> near Oman, uh, Omani Sea. Uh, that one was set on fire, and apparently it was the it was the boiler part of the thing that was uh, set on fire, uh, uh, which is uh, from what the experts were explaining. That's below the level of water. And when that is set on fire, then the problem is the, like the basically the ship sinks. There is little chance of uh, saving it. They tried to save it for a day or two, but uh, they couldn't, and it sank basically. It sank. And uh, that ship again, had also been re uh, again. The problem with that was also technical issues and the automatic uh, anti-fire system didn't go off. Uh, as well as the issue that the, and the, there were many parts of the ship that was uh, replaced and repurposed and was rebuilt by Iranians due to sanctions. They couldn't get, you know, the original parts and all that. So it was probably a bit of a sort of a Frankenstein thing either. So, uh, you know, that was another tragic incident. But no casualties with that incident, apparently, right? No, no. No casualties there. Thankfully, you know, everybody got off because you know it, the fire started. And... But Iran pretty much has one of these these ships, or yes. like maybe a handful. Yeah, I, I think uh, uh, I think they may I, I think they may have built another one now that is like bigger than this, but it's just one. Yeah, there's well, yes, very Iranian navy is probably its weakest uh, like point between all. Um, among the three major branches of military. So uh, then you had on Wednesday, you had a uh, on Wednesday afternoon, you had a crazy fire 
on south of Tehran is starting from a, a refinery, uh, a petroleum <clears throat> refinery, uh, uh, which was uh, basically a petroleum refinery was set on fire and it uh, released massive smoke and smog and you could see it even from north of Tehran. And then the, again the next day, which is today, uh, this morning it was reported that after they thought they had the fire under control, there was another explosion, although some others are denying it was explosion, it was uh, some other thing, uh, and then and, uh, the, the fire has again inflamed, and is it, uh, again you can see that there are a lot of pictures and videos being shared of the smoke, so it's ongoing that one. And I, I haven't heard of any casualties yet, but I think there may be, and I think that's when the casualties will probably be mostly firefighters. Okay, all right. All right, well, thank you for those updates. And now we're going to make a separate video, I think, on Iranian nuclear talks uh, and election, right? Just Sorry. before moving yeah. up to that, yeah, there, I must say there, this is compounded by the fact that there has also been a number of blackouts in uh, Iranian cities, ele electricity blackouts. So it's just yeah, just a lot of negative things happening. With the start of summer, increased use of electricity, there is a lot of talk of Bitcoin mining in Iran that is putting pressure on the uh, electric network. So who knows? I see. But and but the concern the electricity. I mean, they're shutting down. They're shutting down electricity on purpose, right? Because they're they're running low. Uh, the big, there were there were issues. For a couple of days, for a week, let's say, uh, there were blackouts, and then they said that they're gonna sort of because there is pressure on the system and all that, they're gonna try to uh, let people know in advance. They created an app that you can go and it let, lets you know which hours you don't have electricity and all that. But there, it, but it sort of has stopped to be honest. It has stopped pretty much the blackouts and it hasn't been going on as much. Okay. And so, uh, and the timetable they released apparently is not necessarily like sometimes it's they there is electricity while there shouldn't be, but uh, so it's <laughs> a bit of a mess. Yeah. I see, I see. Okay, all right. Well, thank you for Sam. Um, please like and subscribe this video and go check out our next video, which is going to be on Iran nuclear talks in Vienna and also the upcoming presidential election.